I'm going to explain the difference between global variables, local variables, static variables, and parameters. So let's start out with global variables. A variable is a global variable if it is defined outside any function. For example, int value. This is a global variable because it can be accessed from anywhere. So I can access it um, from the main. I can access it from any other function that I have, for example, here, and increment it. Um, so it, th this is what makes it global. It can be accessed from anywhere. And this is a bad programming habit. Because we can change it from anywhere, it makes it very hard to debug. It, all over the place there could be assignments, update operation. So we always want to avoid it. And also we, we use memory space that we may just you need in a few functions. Now what we can do though is use global constants. Global constants makes make sense. For example, if I have a constant text rate and the text doesn't change uh, from function to function, so this will always be the same. It doesn't really make sense to redefine that constant in each, each function. Instead, we want to have a global constant that exists throughout our entire program, and we can access it wherever we need it. So global constants are good. Global variables should be avoided. Now, next, let's look at local variables. So let's clean this up. So a local variable is any variable that is used inside a function, that is declared inside a function. For example, here in number three, or if I have here char letter equals a. This one is local to the print function. This one is local to the main. So local variables exist inside a function, and they only exist inside that function. So if I have int number equals three or two, this is a different variable than inside the main. Because it is local, it only exists um, inside this function. Or if I have, for example, a for loop, int i equals 0, i less than 10, i plus plus, the, the i variable is local to the for loop, and a is local to the for loop. So if I do here a equals 3, a cannot be accessed. a doesn't exist anymore at this time. So the build fails. This one is local to the code block. So the, the, this is how, how local variables work. They are scoped inside the code block. Now, if I, I mentioned that global variables should be avoided. Instead, we want to use local variables. And so if I want to use this variable here inside the, the print value function, we can pass it over. Print value number. What this will do is it'll pass the value over. So we we'll copy the value, pass it to the print value function, and assign it to the parameter. So this one here is called a parameter. The value that is passed to it is called an argument. So the last thing that we need to cover is static variables. So let's create a static variable here. And I call this counter, initialize it to zero. A static variable preserves its value throughout function calls. So what that means is the very first time we call the function, this line gets executed, the variable gets created, and it is initialized. And all subsequent function calls, it is only modified. So this, this will be skipped the, the second time we call the function and all subsequent times we call the function. So let's output some values here. Let's output val, which is the parameter that I have defined here. Then we output the local variable, which is number. And then we output the static variable, which is our counter. And let's call this function three times. Now we don't really need the char variable here, so let's remove it. Let's run this. 
And now what we can see is value is always three. We never change it. We just copy the value over and pass it. The log variable is recreated every time it is two. Now if I do number plus plus and I run this, we can see it's still always three. It's always new, a new variable that is declared, de initialized to two and then incremented and outputs three. But the static variable is not recreated and initialized to zero every time. So we can see it's one, then two, then three. So it exists throughout function calls. Um, in this case, it can be useful because we can't count the number of function calls, but most of the time we don't really need static variables. The common variables that we should use are local variables and parameters. And that should be about it. And then we can have global constants if we use it throughout functions or just a constant in a larger function if needed. I hope this uh, gives you an idea of what the difference are between the three or four. Um, so global variables, local variables, static variables, and parameters. Thank you for watching.